How's it going? Just thought I'd do a bit of an update clip on the compost, the Back to Eden composting clip I did a little while ago. We're not really composting anything else at the moment, uh, but what I'm doing is using some of the bits and pieces in a new garden my daughter's making. She wants to learn about herbs for different teas she wants to make up, so I went out and bought her a few different types of mints today. And she created this little garden yesterday. Um, this is from the water tank. Uh, one of the 500 litre water tanks we had. This one was a little bit dodgy, had a little bit of a, um, a fault along the bottom so we thought we might as well turn him into a garden bed, we cut him down. So I've just filled that up with some dirt that we had laying around and I wanted to top it off with some mulch. So I checked out these barrels down the back here, if you'd like to follow the shadow. These are the, um, these are the three barrels we had set up that I showed in the other clip. I'll just show you this one here first. This one had the rest of our snake beans. As you can see, we've got some snake beans popping up in it. Um, and it was quite well full, probably up to here with the um, mulched um, snake beans. And we only had about a third of the barrel worth of castings. So let me show you now, we're up to about halfway full of castings. There's a lovely little worm there I've disturbed on the surface. So what we've got here in this surface layer was an awesome lot of castings jam-packed full of worms, really nice and light and friable. So I like that word friable. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's that's what these guys have done. And a little bit deeper down, you can still see some of the twigs that they haven't eaten deeper down. But you've got this really nice, rich, thick, sorry, rich, thick castings. So that's awesome. I love these little worms. They make great soil. So again, just pulled the top layer back and we've got all this nice, light, compost looking castings. Actually thinking about stealing some of these for a couple of wicking barrels I'm making up today. But anyway, on to the next barrel. This is the barrel that had horse manure and a bag of horse manure, some worms, comfrey leaves um, and the Chinese elm clip uh, tree mulch. So it, as you can see, it's gone down to about half full. So in this one, I actually have given these guys a bit of a turn, so this isn't a, you know, a totally honest look at them. Um, just full disclosure there. But if you dig down a little bit, we can actually see down the bottom here, we've got worms and the makings of some really nice looking castings and compost. So this is the sort of stuff, um, the idea behind this was, even though there's horse manure in there and the worms um, adding Oh, well, breaking down the, the leaves and the other vegetation. Um, this still gets used as a top mulch com, uh, compost. There are chunks of timber still in here, twigs and bits and pieces. I'll slowly break down. Look, look at that one, that one's just falling to pieces. Um, so this just gets used as a top dress over the top of the garden beds. As we water it, the nutrients then go down through into the beds. So that anyway, that's the one with the worms. And as you can see, it um, has shrunk by... Oh, probably half the size as it was in um, April when it went in. This one here, again I have turned it so it looks a bit taller than it was, but this was just horse manure, no worms and just the timber. Um, it hasn't broken down as much, there's still lumps of um, horse manure in here, so that haven't broken down. Not much worm activity, there should be some worms in here that have come up through the holes in the bottom, but I haven't seen any, it's a bit sludgy and gludgy down the bottom and it hasn't really broken down at all. So I really think the um, the worms value add by breaking down the um, small vegetation, blah, 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 vegetative matter like the leaves and the small twigs. There's some um, the lawn clippings. That's right, lawn clippings went in both as well. So it really hasn't done that great a job. Mind you, this also was done in April, so it was through our autumn and into our winter. We're now halfway through winter. Um, this last one I haven't looked at. There was a few bees buzzing around here before, I didn't want to disturb. So this one is just straight trimmings, no horse manure, no nothing added. And as you can see, this one I haven't turned, and same story, it hasn't really broken down much at all. Um, the leaves are still intact in there, and so are the twigs and the bits of timber. So, yes. What I'm going to do with these guys are, um, I'm pulling out the rest of the water chestnuts uh, next week and I'm pulling out the little spice bed, we uh, wicking bathtub bed we had up the side of the house. 
and they're going to be converted into worm farms. So what I'm going to do with these two barrels here, uh, use them to top dress the um, horse manure in the worm farms. So these guys pretty much all will be going straight in there. This one here I'm going to put on top of um, Maya's little herb garden, so her little mint bed. So it will just go up as a top dress um, on there. So some of it will, some of it won't. We'll just get a thin little um, a thin little layer on top. This one here, um, sort of tossing up what to do with this. I just don't want to disturb these guys. I mean, this stuff is awesome. Just the, the castings all through there are wonderful. I mean, worm farming is not really as complicated as some people make out. Seriously, get some worms, get a barrel, feed them lots of, put in a bag of horse manure. Um, composted horse manure, it's just been, it's as easy as buying some horse manure on the side of the road, letting it sit in the bag for a month or two, emptying it into container, throw some worms in and all your veggie scraps and trimmings from the garden and, I mean, you can't get much better than that, seriously. That is awesome. Hey wormies, sorry wormies. So, you know, I'll stop rabbiting on about worms. Yeah, so anyway, this one I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with it yet. I've got some whip wicking barrels. I want to put three wicking barrels along the back of this garden bed here. So I'll just see whether these guys, there's enough space for them. Might drag them up here under a bit more shade for summer. So anyway, I shall stop nattering on and get to it. You have a great one and any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Take it easy.